Oh. So, ngayong araw, di ba? Pakita namin kung ano ang mga magagandang tanawin at magagandang produkto dito sa Victoria Laguna! Napakainit, it's because alas dos na ng hapon. So, shoutout po kay Sir Jace. And dito po ka lang yung sinatin niya. Oh! <laughs> Ay, ingatin namin, Sir. Basta, 90 plus ang grade, ha? Mahirap mag-lad kasi medyo malayo papunta ang masapa. Sobrang, sobrang init. Mangingitim ako. Alas dos. <laughs> So, nag-iisip na rin kami kung ano yung kakainin namin mamaya. So, makikita din natin kung ano yung mga main delicacies ng Victoria.
Excited na ba kayong alamin ang mga produkto ng Victoria Laguna? Ngunit bago yan, alamin muna natin ang kasaysayan o kung ano nga ba talaga ang pinagmula ng Victoria. Noong unang panahon, ang Victoria ay isang baryo lamang ng Pila Laguna. Ngunit nagkaroon ng isang malakas na kalamidad noong 1375, kaya noong taong 1380 ay nahati na ang kabisera ng Pila at kabisera ng Victoria. Isa sa mga pinakakilalang produkto dito sa Masapang ay ang itek at isa sa pangunahing luto nito ay ang tinulog na itek. Maya-maya lamang ay malalaman natin kung saan nga ba nagumpisa o paano nga ba tinawag na kinulog na itek ang kinulog na itek. The History of Victoria Well-known citizens and civic leaders are finding new hope to make Nanhaya a city. When the Americans granted Philippine independence in 1946, they lived step to separate Pila. In this occasion, citizens proposed to name the town of Trinidad after wife of President Manuel Rojas. Strong objections are contained in the proposal. After Rojas' death, Elpidio Quirino took over the presidency. The highest resident remained fearless. They tried again, intensifying the campaign. The town most prosperous and wealthy families are the families of Ferdinand Judge Jose Fernandez and then Mayor Alejandro Fernandez, Attorney Ramon H. Fernandez, Senior Andres Franco, Dr. Agrippino Oca, Gregorio Geradura, and Leonardo Rebong stood for the proposal. Victoria was village of Pila until November 15, 1949 when President Elpidio Quirino signed EO 282 on the separation of the barrio and eight others in an independent community. Its name was adopted from President Quirino's daughter, Victoria Quirino. After Pateros became highly urbanized and densely populated population, Victoria became a destination for balot traders and became the dock rising center of the villages. The town was featured as a challenge in fall of leg 11th of the 5th season of the Amazing Race, Victoria celebrates their Ducks Festival every second week of November. The capital of Pila used to be in the Barangay Pang Pangalangan, now one of the villages of Victoria. The remains of the original church of Pila can, can still be found in Pangalanan, which in the past has made the community a target of treasure hunters looking for antiques Pagalangan ceased to be Pila's capital when the town was centered boom due to frequent flooding. So ayun po, sa puntong ito naman ay mag interview tayo ng mga negosyante na may tindang kinulog na ipig.